Why RV in Florida? Well, it's basically flat for easy travel, nearly surrounded by water for tons of activities. Plus, it's home to three national parks and numerous other national sites, and 175 state parks, numerous theme parks, and over a thousand campgrounds to park your RV. We first brought our camper to Florida in 2012 for a trip to Disney World. We'd been camping for many years before that, but taking our 31 foot travel trailer on a 1000 mile plus drive all the way down to Florida was way further than we had ever gone before. But the cost of staying at Disney's Fort Wilderness Campground versus staying at a Disney resort made camping the much more affordable option. Every winter since 2018, we've spent camping somewhere in the Sunshine State. Most Januarys, we start out at Fort Wilderness. It's one of the cheaper times of the year to camp at Disney's Fort Wilderness. And then from there, we branch out and spend the rest of the winter time exploring other more natural parts of Florida and spending a lot of time at the state parks. This year we spent some time at Gamble Rogers State Park, which is one of our favorites. They have beach camping where you can see the ocean right from your camper and just walk over the little walkway and you're directly on the beach. Next we headed south to Jonathan Dickinson State Park, which is just about 40 minutes north of West Palm Beach. A very popular state park, but it's much larger than Gamble Rogers. There's a lot more camping spots and there's some cabins there too. So it was our very first time going to Jonathan Dickinson and we were attracted to the park because of its mountain biking but it does have a ton of hiking trails or horseback riding trails. It is not a far drive over to the beach and it's just a beautiful area and again, very popular. time coffee drinkers. It's better, but it's still. <laughs> what an exactly time. drink it. No. excited to check out another new state park for us this year and that is Blue Springs State Park. There are two Blue Springs State Parks in Florida which seems odd. The Blue Springs Park that has the manatees so if you come in the winter time and there's cooler temperatures the manatee comes swimming up the river and go into this little area by the spring because there's warmer water and some days you can see hundreds of manatees so it has been on our bucket list and finally after all these years we did get to go to Blue Springs State Park.
even though we could see dozens of manatee from the boardwalks along the spring, we took a two-hour boat ride along the St. John's River to see even more wildlife. Of course, we had to try and find some mountain biking nearby, and lucky for us, Chuck Lennon Bike Park was only about 35 minutes away. Staying in Central Florida near Orlando gives you the opportunity to have all sorts of activities within an hour's drive. We celebrated Mardi Gras at Disney's Port Orleans French Quarter Resort, where you can chow down on Mickey-shaped beignets while watching a golf cart parade put on by Disney cast members. We also spent an afternoon go-karting. We then traveled 90 minutes south of Orlando to Florida's farm country to hang out with some family and do some camping with cows. While in Zolfo Springs you're not far from strawberry picking, Highland Hammocks State Park, Pioneer Park, and the racing town of Sebring, Florida. We went back to Gamble Rogers State Park because, as we said, we love beach camping. And while we were busy traversing Florida in our RV, Jared went on a trip to Israel. 